frustrated you can, you know, it's, it's a fantastic concept and what they're trying to inform our players. When you look at like one in nine men, you get affected by this, it's a scary stat when you look at how many people in this pub. So it's uh, it's something, I, know, I care passionately, passionately about my players, I want them to be good all the life and it's something I'll be making my players aware of and something I'll be checking out myself and, you know, it is true that men don't like talking about personal things and I'm the worst. But um, when, when you get it explained to you in such a, a brutal way, then you've no choice but to act on it. I think, like I said, when you look at the figures of the amount of people that die from prostate cancer, one in eight men have got prostate cancer. I think it's something that when you're involved in a, in a large male environment, you have to be aware of. And I suppose it's a great example of how the rugby league community will, will back the charity and that two clubs have, have come together who will be playing on Thursday and they've come together today to, to show the support for, for the charity. I think one of the strap lines is for for life. I mean, um, I've known Sean for 30 years, I've known Josh for a long time, Kevin Brown's known Sean for a long time. Like I say, the, the uniqueness of our game is built on those friendships and those um, relationships that are built throughout time. And yeah, come the game day, it's, it's all on. It's a, physical sport, it's a mental tough sport, um, but when we finish we know we both want to win, and we can shake each other's hands and we can move on and we can get on with our next step. I didn't realise, you know, that the statistics was one in eight people get, well one in eight men get prostate cancer and, you know, one bloke every every hour dies of it, so it's a... Uh, it's massive that we, we all get together as a, I think that's really special that the, the rugby league, you know, get together when we do this and, you know, we'll be smashing heads on Thursday, but we can, you know, speak about things like this away from the game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's one of them, you know, uh, we're all mates and, uh, yeah, once we're on the pitch we're enemies, but when we're off the pitch we're all, uh, we're all good mates, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, from a coffee shop to a, for a pub, it's, uh, it's a bit weird just drinking water in a pub, so, yeah, it's one of them, but, yeah, it's, it's good to mingle with, say, your opponents and, yeah, it's, it's good to see like fans to see how genuine we are. So given all the build-up and all, all the talk about the new season, you, you're kind of kicking it off. Yeah, I don't think we'll disappoint. Um, I'm pretty sure that you'll you'll see, you know, two teams going at it, and uh, you know, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna gonna come, you know, all firing and, and playing well. But I'm, I'm also confident in my teammates. With whatever we're gonna want to bring, we'll we won't be far off if we play to our best. Yeah, it's, uh, we need a good start, and I think every, every Super League team needs a good start. You know, with these top eight. So yeah, we've, we've worked hard this pre-season. Oh, we've been away in Orlando and. We've had a few tough sessions and the boys have dug in well and yeah, they put everything into it so hopefully it'll, uh, it'll show on Thursday. Witness are very, very tough to beat at home with his surface. You know, the stats prove to me that they win a lot more games at home than what they do away, so they're a tough team to beat and it's the first game. You know, there's 10 winners in their team and it's got, it's all, it's got the, the makers of a real tough contest for us. But the way we've trained and you know, the people I've got fit ready to play again. Uh, it, it, we're going to challenge with this as well, so it's got the makings of a real exciting Rugby League game. We've been given a great honour. We're going to launch Super League from our home ground in Select Stadium, and to be playing Wigan is a, is a massive, massive challenge for the group. The grand finalists last year, the grand final winners, and Challenge Cup winners the year before. They know that they're a tough, tough team. They know it's physical. So yeah, come the start and the kick off when that whistle blows, I think you might see some fireworks on the field, not just off it.